Hey, this is Al Duncan, co-host of Skill Talk. Look, we got a great episode coming up for you in just a few seconds. I just want to give you a quick reminder. Please share this video or the podcast, you know, and make sure you like it as well so that we can continue to get the word out and continue bringing you great videos like this. Also, remember to sign up for our mailing list and check out the video resource library and the other resources that we have, like activity sheets that will help you build your soft skills. The website is S the number three, T-E-M.com. That's S, the number three, T-E-M.com. That stands for Soft Skills for STEM. Enjoy the episode. Duncan, the governor of South. Oh, governor. <laughs> I've been elected. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like that. Okay, my turn. Let me go back at her. Uh, Dr. Michelle B. Lee. Uh, the B stands for big dreams, right? <laughs> she got big dreams. We wouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for her. So we love her for her vision. Thanks a lot, Shell. We appreciate that. And listen, when you hear me call Shell, I know she's Dr. Lee, but that's what we call off camera. We like to have fun. We family here. So we got a great episode for you all today. Here to give you the skills that you need to succeed. Doc, what's up? What are we going to talk about today? You know what, Al? Uh-oh. I was talking to a co-worker the other day. Okay. You gave me that look. What does that mean? <laughs> yes. And she came and asked me for some advice. Okay. About um, her supervisor. Okay, while well, supervising. Yeah, what she said, every time she's in a meeting um, and she's talking, the supervisor is doing weird things, body language. What do you mean, like? Like, like sighing his nose? while she's talking. Oh, <laughs> sighing. Like, <sighs> yeah. So, oh, God. Yeah, sighing, hitting his head. Like, <sighs> like, like he's really? irritated that she's talking. Okay. And so she asked me, what should I do? I don't know. It, it sounds like she needed a new supervisor. <laughs> the first thing is that's not cool at all. But anyway, what did you tell her? When she said, what should she do? What, what did you tell her? <laughs> well, this is what I told her. And then I said, are you sure that um, he's doing that only when you talk? Okay. And she said it's, it's happened multiple times. There's a room full of people. And every time it's her turn to talk, mm -hmm. he does this. <sighs> Yes. Like she needed to hurry up and finish. Yes. And and I told her, I said, first of all, that's very disrespectful. That's definitely disrespectful. And that depending on how she feels mm -hmm. or what level of comfort she has, mm -hmm. there's many options that she could actually. She could take. Yeah, she could take. Okay. Now, me personally. Right. Um, but I don't think she has the personality. If that was being done to me, right, you just gonna run up straight, jabbing. No, I would, just, I would just stop and ask okay. them. You right. know, do you have a problem with me speaking? Okay, because a lot of times, you know, somebody doing something like that might not be aware. That's going to so, be very true. So yep. me, you know, me, you know, I do know you, and y'all know her too. <laughs> I would just call him on it, right? Just, okay, but I would do it, you know, respectfully. I got you, but you still going to stand up for yourself, put, you know, make sure you get some things established. Yes. Okay. But then I guess with her personality, mm -hmm. knowing her, because I've been working with her for years. Okay. I, you know, said to her, maybe you should take him aside. Yeah, I can see that. Like after the meeting, and say, you know. Um, when I'm talking, this is what I notice what you're doing. See, that's good advice right there. Yep. And, you know, I, I wonder, that makes me very uncomfortable and I think it's very disrespectful, mm -hmm. you know, because that's part of communication, your body language. I, I agree with that. And, and, and in case you're not noticing, this is more an issue of 
body language to start off with than it is necessarily, uh, not necessarily conflict management or something like that. Cause we don't even know if there's really a conflict here, but we do know that there's some disrespectful body language going on right here. You know, and my grandmother used to always say, actions speak louder than words. You know, that's true. I agree with her wise wisdom, but I also, uh, have learned something else. Some of us I learned over the years is nothing, nothing. That is our behavior does not necessarily line up with internal thoughts and feelings. That means just because someone is doing something on the outside, it doesn't necessarily reflect exactly what they are thinking or feeling on the inside. As a matter of fact, there's a new study that's out right now uh, you know, that they did recently. I was reading about it and it says that uh, just because a person is, is nodding in agreement with you like this, like this, while you're talking the whole time, that does not mean they're necessarily agreeing with what you're saying. They're more so agreeing with what they're thinking. So they can be sitting there nodding like, uh-huh. This boy is an idiot, <laughs> right? <laughs> and you thought he and she was agreeing with you, but they weren't. So you got to be careful with that. Uh, and that's why I think the advice you gave her was good, because we don't know what he means just yet. But what I do know is this also, is that here's another duck and nugget, and that is this. Regardless of what happens with a person's message that they may be conveying, uh, you might not be happy with it. You might not even like it. But one thing is for sure, you don't have to go around feeling disrespected by someone else's behavior. And I think that is something that couldn't be addressed and should be addressed. Yeah, it should. So, you know, first go to him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talked about in another episode about timing. That's right. Make sure you check that out. It's another episode. If you haven't seen it, if it's not up yet, be on the lookout for it. It's about effective uh, it's timing and effective communication. And yep. so, you know, and I, I talk about the timing part, but me being a seasoned employee yeah, you, you. and, you know, he's doing that to me in a room full of people yeah, yeah, and I'm and I'm looking at, uh, you know, looking around and other people are feeling uncomfortable. Right. I think I would just, you know, just call him out on it right then and there. Right. But then I also told her if that didn't work, mm -hmm. then she should basically skip level manager and go to his manager and talk about the situation. So she could go to HR. Yeah, she can go to HR, but go to his, because there are different levels of Okay, manager. so his manager first and then yeah, the HR. Yeah, and then have the manager talk. Gotcha. And the other thing, too, is, um, you know, in that situation, they might actually put you in a room and, you know, to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, y'all work it out. Yeah, and then if that doesn't work, because now you went through the different steps, mm -hmm. now go to HR. I got you. So you got to, once again, this is something else we talked about in another episode. That's why you got to make sure you walk up, watch all the episodes. That is resourcefulness. Make sure you use all your resources to be able to deal with this particular issue. Yeah, so, you know, with body language and, you know, I just, and then also we talk about perception. That's right. That might have been her perception, maybe, but you really need to go, you know, and figure it out if that is really the case. Right, so you don't make any assumptions. In other words, uh, yes, especially if you're a young entry-level employee, you don't have to feel disrespected. We keep saying that over and over again, but you also got to make sure that you are getting the right message, that you're receiving the right message, and one of the best ways to do that is to take someone, your manager, pull him or her aside and ask to make sure that she's or he or she is aware of that behavior and also to make sure it means what you think it means. As a matter of fact, I just remember something. I was at a networking event one time. The guy was sitting there like this the whole time. Now, anybody that's taking a, a course on body language knows that if you're sitting there with your arms folded, you must be close to the conversation. Yeah, that's you're like, really... you're kind of defensive. Right. So, uh, you know, I, that's what I was thinking and I was getting ready to walk away from the guy, but then he leaned in and told me, he said, look, man, I, I don't, you know, I'm sorry I'm sitting like this, but I got this mustard. I got mustard all over my shirt. So he was really trying to cover up his face. So anyway, so you had to be careful about making that assumption. And the, and the one thing we know is that you cannot necessarily change other people. You got to focus on yourself as well. And so you should always know your own body language because a lot of times the, the meaning of your communication is the response that you are getting. So be careful about that also and make sure your emotions are caught up in it. I remember you were saying that off camera, like this has a lot to do with emotional intelligence too, right? Yeah, emotional intelligence, but I want to go back to the body language. Let's go back to the body language, okay. You know, so when we were taping the first episode, Yeah. A skill talk, and I went back and looked at the footage. <laughs> I know some eye movements that I had. I know yeah. I got big eyes, uh -huh. <laughs> and a lot of my expressions come out of my eyes. And I actually had some co workers tell me that okay. my eyes would tell it all. Yeah, yeah, and, yes, they will. It's and, okay. And she and, had crazy looks on her face. I was wondering, does she really like me? And I know you like me, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's good. So we just wonder. But in other words, just be aware of your own body language also and make sure you're not uh, making someone 
want us to respond to you in that manner. So with that being said, I really started paying attention. So, you know, an activity uh -huh. that you guys could do as far as body language and looking at your facial expressions mm -hmm. is actually taking your phone. It's your phone. Selfie. You know what you always do, but this time I'll take a selfie. And I'll what take a video do? and I'll yeah, start video. talking to see how the expressions are coming out. That's right. So now I'm very mindful of my body language and especially my eyes. Uh -huh. I, and you can see what's going on. Yeah, because I had some crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I might, put one, okay, up. I, might put one, I might put one up on the website. Y'all be like, oh my God. <laughs> one of the outtakes, right? That would <laughs> yeah. be crazy. Yes. And and, and so and, and along with taking your own video, another thing you should always do is get feedback from other people that know you, people that are close to you, because they will tell you if you're crazy or not. Trust me, they will. Because in here in the studio, we were messing with her. The production crew was messing with her. Everybody was like, listen, we gotta fix you. What is going on with your face, girl? That's <laughs> right. right. So, then going back to the emotional <laughs> intelligence part uh -huh. that's the, the fit that's the uh, verbal communication that's right but then also the um emotional intelligence intelligence is also the physical right the physical too that's very true and, and before we get ready to wrap this one up uh just in case you're wondering emotional intelligence what that is is the ability to perceive and manage your emotions as well as the emotions of other people. And so that comes really in the, uh, comes into play a lot when it comes to body language because a lot of times body language conveys emotions and you don't want to make sure you're misconstruing those things as well. Yep. So, Thank you for that definition. Yeah, got to um, give them a definition. <laughs> we, we, we practice edutainment, right? <laughs> edutainment, <laughs> okay. okay. That's right. I like that. All right, good. So look, we, you know, anything else you want to add to this, Doc? I think that we need to wrap it up. I think we need to wrap it up, too. I know y'all wanted to keep going. I need this. <laughs> we're going to wrap it up, and we'll be back soon, won't we? We will. Okay. What and and we're going to talk about something? Um, I think, yeah, we do have a topic. We, we have a topic? Yes. You're talking with it in? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to talk. We know what we want to talk about, but you don't. You got to tune into the next episode. So, my name is Al Duncan on behalf of Dr. Michelle B. Lee. We look forward to seeing you again on another episode of Skill Talk. Until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed. Duffy Nuggets. Boom! <laughs>